Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome back to Hobby Night. Now, I know that there was a recent release of an Assassin's Creed set for Magic the Gathering. However, I'm just, I'm not a fan of Assassin's Creed. I never really got into the games. I never really played them. So instead, today, to keep on the Magic hype train, I thought we'd instead look at the Bloomborough trailer. I'm very excited for this. This is an original IP for Magic, which is always fun. They always get to do really cool things when they build on their own world. And I'm excited about this one because it's got a lot of little tiny adorable creatures. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. I'm really excited to hopefully see some adorable card art. Oh, I'm already, oh, I'm already getting Secret of Nim vibes so much from this, and it's great. Very much lighter than Secret of Nim, but still Secret of Nim-esque. Yes! I want a flower. They're gonna be brave adventurers, and it's gonna be adorable! Fancy. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> okay, well, somebody's having fun. Oh, ominous. Okay, now it's feeling a bit more uh, Don Bluth secret of them just because of the. Smoke and destruction. Yes. Wizard frog. I love it. <gasps> no! <gasps> Her little woodland friends! It's okay. I will come in as a spellcaster and I will save you. You can do it, little mouse friend. You know what this is also actually really giving me vibes of? I don't know if any of you have played the um, the game from Flat Hat Games called Mice and Mystics, but it's really, really cute. Ooh, I like the deer. Take that! <gasps> Her flower's back, that's cute. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, it's a really cute board game. Welcome adorable to Valley, art. a world filled to the brim with creatures, big and small, all working together as they share in the prosperity and safety of their communities. I am. If this is the art we're getting, I'm loving it already. The largest it's settlement adorable. in Valley is Three Tree City, a massive dwelling at the conjunction of the forests and the Long River, built across three ancient intertwined trees. All right. It's home to a variety of animal folk and designed to accommodate their different sizes and shapes. Nice, not bad land Whether these creatures are most comfortable in water, or land, or in the sky. Ooh, burps. Three Tree City I do has like a place for them to call home. The upper branches of Three Tree City are filled with a dazzling array of bird folk oh, that's capable cool. of great deeds of chivalry and selflessness the bird folk are known for their inability to ignore ah! injustice. I like him. Perhaps nothing demonstrates the character of the bird folk quite like the Plume Creed, a risky venture to the tip of the world, a mighty peak that no Ooh, one but nice. I do a love brave buffing bird folk my can reach. You can recognize a bird folk who has completed the Plume Creed by the single feather they wear atop their head. Included in this set are several booster was, fun treatments to collect. Fine. One being the borderless raised foil Ooh. anime cards. Dazzling oh, raised there's foil anime foil cards in these ones? Heck yeah, I love when they do that. these cards the apex of collectability. Find English versions globally in collector boosters. And Japanese versions exclusively in Japanese collector boosters. Ah, uh, okay. The charming new showcase woodland frame <gasps> treatment reads kindred oh, faction so pretty. cards in How frames ethereal. of foliage, I love it. evoking a sense of pastoral beauty and natural elegance. 
They encapsulate the cozy energy like of Bloomborough and allow players to showcase their fondness for these kindred animals. Has a little bit of like an Art Nouveau animals, style, which I enjoy, but not going too much personalities. There. The closest natural allies of the bird folk are the mouse folk. Plucky are they? I feel like birds typically of adventure eat mice. And glory. Mouse folk have large Vigilance interconnected haste, families. Nice. There are few problems mouse folk can't overcome together. Nice, okay. All a lot the of plus folk one, of plus one counters being their added. young, and springtime is particularly rich with new life. The new mechanic, Offspring, enables oh. you to create one-one creature tokens that represent the young version of an animal species. The okay. offspring of your animal folk will have the same abilities as the parent creature. The only difference is their one-one power and toughness. They are still children after all. Okay. These young creatures of Valley show promise oh and are eager God, to take on the adventures adorable. that lie ahead. <laughs> okay, that's Rabbit cute. folk I love are it. also community focused, as well as being talented chefs and farmers <laughs> who provide like food it. to most of the creatures in Valley. They're conflict Eat averse as a friends. rule, preferring to let trouble blow over them rather than stick their noses in it. That doesn't mean that they can't defend themselves, though. Should be speedy boys, Phineas right? is one such guardian of the animal folk in Valley. This Ooh, adeptly trained nice. archer stands ready to protect his home from afar, as well as his companions as they <gasps> venture through Valley. Oh, I really, Gathering really like. I like the alt arts for both of these, strength. both the anime style and their fancy Bloom order. Burrow encourages your creatures to band together so they can gain extra benefits. <sighs> these kindred animal folk how must share with be. each other in order to survive. The okay. new mechanic, Gift, allows you to gift your opponent a benefit gift to reap more fish. value out of a spell or artifact. The gift varies depending on the card. It might be food tokens, an extra card, a 1-1 one -one fish, or something oh. <laughs> else. <laughs> Through their natural one -one durability, fish. the strength of their kindred bonds, and the willingness to share, the animal folk of Valley can survive almost anything. All right. There are those in Valley that prefer moonlight to sunlight. <gasps> Ooh, Bat do folk we are oh, deeply protective heck of their yeah. community. Occasionally superstitious and focused on maintaining the balance between all things, light and darkness. Oh my gosh, I love. Death, Ooh, I love course, all of the bat day art. And night. Yes. Nocturnal creatures, they use the moon and stars to determine their choices and fuel their magic. Okay. I also love the combo of white black, when so that's very asleep, exciting. They I might have to build myself a bat deck. Guardians of the vulnerable creatures of Valley. Raccoon folk are free-spirited oh, wanderers, trash collectors, pandas. and entertainers. Muera, trash tactician, wields new a mechanics, trash expend, rewarding you for spending four or more mana in a single turn. Oh, then you this life. fearsome nice. raccoon also likes to work closely with so fellow life raccoon link, folk, but... adding red or green mana for each raccoon you control. Uh... Rather than settling down in Free oh, Tree City cool. or elsewhere, raccoons spend their lives on the move, acquiring a horde of objects along the way. Some may call it trash, but to a raccoon, <laughs> every broken teapot and piece of wagon wheel is a treasure. Indeed it is. There are even more creatures who thrive in odd and adverse circumstances Ooh, in Free Tree, Tree City. Stuff. Nice. The lizard folk are a culture of expressive artists. Lizards. They value creation what and pair well destruction in equal measure. Like if they'll be able to add them a into a dragon deck, and have it be nice. As cold-blooded creatures, they rely on the heat from flame when sunbathing is not an option. Lizard communities can often be found okay. bundled together around a fire or furnace, sharing this sacred connection. Love it. So far, I'm really the digging folk are everything more about this. stewards of land and the life-death cycle. Though they focus mostly on burying the remains of the dead, a select few squirrel folk are able to bring bones back. <gasps> oh, from the that all art is so cool! The squirrel folk have also become experts at maintaining themselves. Dude, both of them themselves are really cool, but the anime one, food, in my opinion, is collected is through the art where it's of foraging. I love the colors. The new mechanic, Forage, is a squirrel-themed mechanic that allows you to exile three cards from your graveyard, oh. or sacrifice, sacrifice a food, food token, to gain an effect. Okay. 
Rat folk are isolationist keepers of secrets and ancient relics. They have survived harsh circumstances by forming psychic connections with native insects. With their insect companion by their side, Aww. rat folk can be quite formidable in a pinch. Interesting. Down by the waterways of Three Tree City, entirely different groups make their home. The otter folk are playful and fun-loving with a strong daredevil streak. They seek Please tell me there's one with, them on, with a clam the on their belly. The of following menacing creatures called calamity beasts as closely as possible until the danger becomes too great even oh. for these adventurous critters. That's the prettiest uh, the all art folk, with the fancy border that I think I've seen so far. I like the blue-red color. They possess color. a unique culture of augury. Oh, which frogs. allows them a limited understanding of the future. They've actually added, While I mean, pretty much all the woodland creatures I would expect, but a good variety valley, of them. It also results in many frogs being fatalistic. I'll need to look up and see how many it's new cards are actually going to be It's hard when you can always set. see the waiting doom. Sometimes the frog folk, acting on their own <laughs> foresight, oh, can bring doom upon themselves. The wizard Glob, for instance, oh, has recently look at that. stolen cool, an egg like, from the great night I wish there was an anime version of inviting him. Inviting retaliatory wrath from the powerfully winged creature Ooh. of darkness. This Owls. legendary elemental bird carries night on its wings that blackens the sky. Flying trample, Ma or discard a is card. is just one of the many dangers across Valley. Ooh, These base animal folk one. must coexist with calamity beasts, mighty creatures which blur the line between flesh and blood animals and elemental forces of nature. And for naturalists, <gasps> the borderless field notes oh, treatment captures the raw cool. power of calamity beasts, rendered I like in the, the really sketchiness of uh, the eater of all. But the people of Three Tree City are not helpless. And the watercolor. The great hero of the Mabel owl is cool too, forms actually. a party of adventurers to protect Valley against the calamity beasts. Oh, look at the bat. Aided by the now transformed Ral Zarek, who is more than happy to lend a paw. Since there are no humans to be found on Bloomborough, Ral has magically transformed into an otter upon arriving on this oh, plane. Oh my goodness. How interesting. But even without help from allies outside of Valley, so if some of the, the other planeswalkers showed up, would they also transform into animals? And if so, which themselves. ones? A cycle of modal spells allows you to select from a list of three abilities. In this set, they're each valued at one, two, or three paws. Choose up to five paws worth to gain those effects. You may even choose the same mode more than once. Okay. The card type class is returning with a focus on bakers, blacksmiths, artists, and Aww. other villagers. Pay the Very mana like, cost at each level to gain its shoot, ability, I feel working like your way down to all three. To be doing. Life goes on in Valley. The turning of the seasons, the tilling of the oh, earth, the and islands the occasional are upheaval are <gasps> all aspects okay, of the Okay, I like the swamps the best so far. Yep, it the swamps are my the favorite, although the mountains that are pretty. It's make Three Tree City what it is. <gasps> But the Forests little folk are cool too. who Swaps carry on favorite. day after day. Tell me down in the comments which there is your favorite. There are also heroes and commanders in Valley who are truly adept at inspiring the animals around them. Led by Bello, Bard of the Brambles, the animated cool army deck card. lets you ramp into impressive calamity beasts. Okay. Cast expensive permanents to synergize with the main set's expend mechanic. With Commander Zinnia, Valley's voice, the Family Matters deck specializes in doubling up on enters the battlefield effects by granting your creatures offspring fill the board with one one token versions of your creatures interesting okay hazel of the root bloom Aww. leads the squirreled away deck outvalue your foes with a combination of squirrel and food tokens interesting this deck includes some traditional kindred effects for squirrel fans with the peace offering deck Miss Bumbleflower hands Aww, out Ms. cards Bumbleflower. using She's the pretty. gift mechanic. This deck evokes a group hug style of play that's friendly, until it isn't. <laughs> until it In gets addition vicious. In to the main set's Imagine Courageous Critters cards, Tamiyo is one of four that can be found in the Commander decks. Because okay. Bloomborough has its own unique aesthetic, Planeswalkers and creatures who happen to end up here, like Rao, are transformed into denizens of valley. Are we going to get to see more With of the them imagine then? Imagine Courageous Critters treatment. Your favorite planeswalkers and creatures have been utterly transformed by the adorable lens of Bloomborough, which brings out their inner animal folk. 
see powerful creatures and favorite planeswalkers as squirrels, birds, bats, otters, and more. Oh, like Lilith has a bat. Planeswalker. Jace! If he were to appear Amazing. here in the land of animal folk. And characters aren't the only ones to get a reimagining. Powerful weapons also take on new forms in the Bloomborough setting. <laughs> the that's, sword that's of fire terrifying and ice and looks very a little cool. different when wielded by an otter. If you'd like to visit Three Tree City and all the creatures of Valley, these look you'll really have cool. your chance. Soon. I'm loving. You Ooh. can play early oh. at a local game store for pre-release starting the weekend. Oh man! Of July okay, we're gonna go back and look at those in just a second. And on MTG Arena on July the thirtieth. All right. Otherwise, we'll see you on August the 2nd when Bloomborough will be available everywhere. Keep an Excellent. eye out for the buyer box promo. Flubs! And bundle promo cards. All righty. Learn more about the adventures of <gasps> Mabel and her party with story episodes now online at magic.wizards.com. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Until then, I love that they're actually doing some like, little more videos and soon. such. In okay, peaceful this looks amazing. I, trees. I'm actually extremely excited about this. Um, I, let's talk about some of these characters here because, first of all, I love the new lands. I, 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 I know we all have lands out the wazoo. Like my goodness, do we all have probably far too many of them? But I do love when you get really unique ones like this in the sets. And the plains are great. The mountains are cool, but really, where is the swamps? Where where are the swamp? I want to see. It's not gonna let me. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play. And the occasional upheaval. Yeah, the swamps. Oh my god, they look so good. But the main thing that I actually want to look at, just as we wrap this out, is at the end here we got to see some of the alt art cards, which were really cool. And there was one. There he is. Hold on, let's let's. Ice looks a little different when we It does look a little otter. different, doesn't it? Nope. If you'd like to visit Three Trees City it again. and all the creatures of Valley, where you'll are have you? Your there he is. Look at Jace and his anime fox self. Oh my goodness, I want that card. He is so adorable. I love it. Um, I'm actually extremely excited about this. You can absolutely be expecting to see me opening up some Bloomboro decks, um, or not decks, but uh, packs in the future. Probably, I'll probably end up getting some of the collector booster packs because I just, I really enjoy being able to get the shiny cards, um, especially if these Jace alt arts and like all the anime art ones are going to be available in them. I'll need to look and see what the actual spread of where the cards can be found are. And I'm definitely going to be picking up at least one or two of the decks, I believe. Like, where did they talk about that? Yeah, I'm not... I, the squirrel one seemed kind of interesting. The bird, I will admit, I'm not a huge fan. It's growing on me. I'm not a huge fan of this art specifically, like, of just the, the front-on perspective. I love the colors, though. Absolutely love the colors. But I do really, really, really like flying creatures. So that's really cool. But however, I do know that I am definitely going to be getting this one. I will definitely be getting this Bellow Bard of Brambles deck. One, I just love how like manic he looks. It's great. But I also really enjoy red green decks. I like the ramp. I like the big growth of creatures. So I'm excited to be trying out this new set. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to be picking up this set at all. Um, what card maybe you're most looking forward to. Or if you ended up picking up any of the Assassin's Creed cards. Because I know some of you out there probably are big fans and maybe pick them up. But it's just not my kind of IP. This, however... These adorable fuzzy creatures, I'm all about. So I can't wait for this to come out. And thank you so much for watching today's episode. Before I leave, I want to give a final thank you, not only to my patrons, but also my YouTube members for making it so content like this can continue to happen. Without your guys' support, we just would not be doing this. So thank you very, very much. I have been Angela, and I hope you have a wonderful hobby night.